everyone back again with another video right then you hopefully watch my unboxing video of the 14 craft bar stuff so I'm going to show you what I'm using I'd already made these flowers um, earlier on today before my parcel come so this is a uh, silk foam iron um, I have also heated the ends just a little bit just so I could get more of a, um, a more definite wave on them um, so those three I'm using today then I've done I've got my little sentiment there which I've added some little lace paper backing I've got my backing thing ready there and then this is what I showed you um, let me show you the package so this is what it come in I've already painted one head so that's what it comes like and then I painted it embossed it and then put some gems on to make it look like that ready for the card just because it would have took ages to dry which it did so got that ready that's got a nice like shine to it because i've used a gloss uh, embossing powder um got a few diamantes there um butterfly dragonfly that sort of thing my leaves where are my leaves here we go here we go where are my leaves they are missing no i have found them thank goodness I've done some leaves ready in just some colour matching just a little bit more of the background I didn't want any more red so I've done the leaves ready I haven't planned anything out yet of where everything's going so let's make a card right then I've already strengthened the card paper that I wanted to use with some like backing card this uh, i always cut boxes up that are delivered and then i use stuff like that so then i've put the 3d spacers pads on and then my card is already been done because we all really know how to do a card okay so it's eight inch by eight inch card right then let's begin Let's start by putting where would I like it? I think I'm gonna go with it at the bottom. So let's take these off. Now I've started as well when I add this to add just a little bit of glue because it just gives me that bit more slip. To it when I'm placing it down trying to get it level I don't want to just distress the edges today either I want to keep it straight so I think we're okay on that yet so that looks pretty right then flowers definitely want to use my cameo brooch thing I made so don't want to cover too much of this lace I say this all the time don't I and then I put that much stuff on it that everything gets I think I think I may only use two flowers let's have a look Let's have a play about, see what we like. I do like the three together. But then I'm not sure whether it's just too much with the leaves as well. I think I'm going to go with the two. Whether I'll regret that later, we shall see. But let's glue this down. I'm waiting for my foam pads to be delivered so you know my round ones I use to anchor the flowers down they haven't been delivered yet so hopefully that glue will sit in 
pop enough on and it won't move. That's my uh, motto. Make sure that's down. Okay, so they're down now, so they're anchored in. Let's put some leaves on. Love putting the leaves on. Right, poke it all so we can distress them a little bit. So, yeah, I'm not sure where the cameo, but, but I'm really, really chuffed with it. I'm liking how it looks. Yeah, I also I love putting the leaves on because everything just starts to really come together. I've got all different shapes and sizes because that's what I've been liking lately. Um, so I put I think we'll put a larger one up into this corner. I think. I've got some of them butterflies I showed you on the unboxing video as well. Um, I've added a bit more of my colour that I needed. Where's that? I want that leaf. Pointing up to that corner, and then I've got another larger leaf. I don't want it on the smaller flower. I might actually put it at the top with the other large leaf. like seeing two large leaves together I think it looks more natural because that's how a flower I think would look I've got another fatter one there which I might cut down you're probably here Bubba today he's, he's, uh, he's having a hot flash oh, he's got a little fan on because he sleeps with me in bed because he's a spoiled monster. Just cut the end of that leaf off so it goes underneath a little bit more. Yeah, he's a spoiled monster, so he comes to bed with me. He's the only dog that does. I tell a lie, the Labrador does now. He sleeps in the corner of my room. The Leon Burger stays downstairs because she don't like the stairs. I think I've told you that before. But yeah, Bubba sleeps in it. So I bought him because of the hot weather. I bought him a little corner fan, you know, like a little, little clip-on fan. It isn't that good, but it works for him. Because it goes, it's like attached to the bottom of the bed. So it aims right at his face, but he still pants a lot. He's because he's got a squash face, isn't it? He can't breathe very well. It made me panic yesterday, actually, because on the way to the vets, um, just really i've got aircon in the car of course but it just like when it's really hot in a car you know it's stifling isn't it and because he's obviously got this flat face and he can't breathe at the best even you know the best of times it worries me sick because they're really prone to to the heat and severe cold um scares me to death so even though i had the aircon blasting he was really still struggling, but I had to take him to the vet. They won't prescribe anything over the phone, which is annoying, because he's, he's had this same issue before. So I said to him on the phone, I said, look, I said, it's exactly the same as what I bought him like a month for. Oh no, we have to see him again. I think, yeah, yeah, because you're charging me um, a fee again, isn't it, to be seen, rather than just the drugs. That's what I, all I can put it down to. But I suppose, I don't know how they have to see it. They say they have to see him, but I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced one bit. If I'm saying that I'm just coming to get his ear checked and you had a look at it like three weeks ago, that should suffice for me. But I'm not a vet. 
so so that's that right let's have a lookage that's nice I'm going to put something here but I don't know whether it's going to be a leaf yet what have I got over here I've got some swirly bits entangled in sisal because I get everything entangled in sisal so I've got some black ones I'm not sure bear with me I'm just not sure what colour the ones I coloured earlier are dark grey and then these are black. Now I think black might go better because of the cameo brooch. Um, it's black isn't it? On the underneath part where her face, underneath her face. I weren't sure. Sometimes I don't like to use just black, black all the time. Sometimes just using a nicer, just a nicer darker colour can look just as nice. I'm trying to find the end of that bloody. There we go. more there and more there so I think I've only got one more have I? No I've got another one here it's bent a little bit but it'll do just a small one there might put small one here cut it off so that just pokes out there and then I've got this other one there for up here could do with a little something there but we'll, we'll see what we've got We'll see how we're doing. Now sometimes you can like attach them to the underneath as the leaf curl, curls up. You can actually attach little light pieces of paper like that to the underneath of the leaf. So what it does, is it stops it lying too flat. I'm going to show you. So instead of putting the glue underneath, we're putting it on top of the flourish now and then we're going to press up so it grabs on that leaf okay give it a bit of a pinch you can always fold the leaf back in you can always as well get the flourish there and just bend it slightly in like that just so it pokes up a little bit more let's have a look yeah just so it like it's got something to lift it up off the page rather than you can bend them Bob was having a drink so if you were like tidal wave happening that's him drinking he's the loudest drinker ever right then I did have this and I coloured it in grey which I'm going to change now. I'm going to do it black. So, where is my blackage marker? Here we go now. Oh, I've got this one. This will be a bit more. Oh, no, actually, I won't do that one. I'll do this. Tell you why. I'm going to, sh I'm going to put, like, something dangling from it in a minute. And if I use that paint that I just went in with before... It's a little bit too wet that paint is and what it does then as you know when you wet any paper 
it gives it like weakens it slightly doesn't it so that's why i have problems hanging the dragonfly off it before so i'm just going to go over it with this just alcohol sharpie marker rather than that wet paint pen would have been a bit quicker but i can't risk wetting this too much so yeah do. Like I say that dark grey was nearly there but it wasn't black enough. Let's get everything back in. Just snip the end off. Now I don't know whether I'm going to be using all of it. Let's see. Yeah that looks nice. I think I might split it into three. So let's do that little one there and that little one there and then do that one there I'm going to put all the glue down this centre just to support it a little bit more there we go like that and then I wanted to split it because I just didn't want that to be the whole bit you know the like the little circle bit just didn't want that to be on its own Bubba. So we'll have this one there. Bubba. Right then. Let's have a look at that. That's looking nice. So I've got a little sentiment there. Which now look at it. I don't actually like this red background on it. So I'm going to just find another little one. A little sentiment. I'm just picking one out catch a moment I think I'm gonna have so I need to put on some spacer things definitely oh that's it don't need that all back right then one on and then I want another one so I need to just take that a little more narrower it's just poking out a little bit too much for me pop a little bit of glue on if you do anything like that and then it'll seal it back down again okay so let's get the glue strings off and i can't lie this down now because the sticky stuff is on it so i want the cameo thing there tell you what we won't put that down just yet we will be patient and put that down in a minute. So this is a little butterfly. Um, a friend gave me. She gave me lots of charms. So I've done pick gold because obviously we've got gold on the cameo bit. So I want to get this butterfly hopefully dangling from here. So what we do 
let me get that sticky off so what I do is I snip a little hole like that and then pop the dragonfly in gently then gently again get a little bit of glue make sure that those bits are together again so it's sealing it back up again and then hopefully that will then dangle off that little bit that we added there which I think is really cute right then so definitely got to have it in this corner I don't want it on the wonk like that don't want it in the middle like that it's got to be here defo always put a bit of glue on so we've got some room to maneuver it a little bit So let me just tilt it up. Yeah, that looks nice. So then I'm just going to give it a press down to make it sure it's down. Lovely. Right, so let's now grab that sentiment then. That we've done. And then let's see if. I think, I don't want it there because I want that bit of lace showing, I think just halfway in the middle like this, there, let's press it down thoroughly, let's have a look, yep, that's on nicely. Got a little bit of glue there, but that'll scratch off. If you're gentle, you can get little bits of glue off. There we go. Right then. Let's continue now with what we were going to do with the little gems. So I've got my little, this is a good little pencil. It's got little wax, hard wax on the end and it picks gems up. So let's pop some gems down I've picked like an orangey red to match the flowers I'm going to put some black ones too I've got a mixture between the red that I put on I didn't find these orange till later on. I could only find the red, but the red matches. put a little gem on the Mr. Dragonfly himself on the body not there so he's in keeping with the rest of the card yeah that looks nice that looks nice I'll link where I've got all this stuff from so it helps you find everything again. The Cameo 
was from that craft 14 unboxing that I did in the video before I showed you what stuff had come from there so that was from there I still can't bloody remember where it's from because I've got a memory like a sieve I think it's Poland. But there again, with how what well, the memory I've got, it could be bloody Iceland or Norway. Remembering things I'm not good at. been using gems more than beads I quite think if they'd like catch the light nicer we'll put a bead on here so that also catches the light like that I'm going to pop a bead on there, but I want a smaller one, so where are my smaller beads? Uh, gems, this is, crikey Riley, where have them gone now? Are they there? No, they're my black gems, but I wanted a few black, so. I'm going to put black on the flower petal because it shows up better but I didn't want to use a huge one okay, just hold it on until it gives and then it'll let you pull it away then then I think a couple of dotted ones around here I'm going to put a red two red gems on the corners of here as well a few black ones around here just to balance the black out I think like so have a look yes I like it a lot I think that little cameo thing in the corner really makes it look different doesn't it I might pop two gems there so let's get some more out 
So I want on the corner that. like that now I was thinking whether to do a necklace on the cameo is that not I knew that I hadn't took I had a feeling because of the embossing powder again I'm going to have to scratch it off I had a feeling when I did it that I would have to then do this Yep, I knew it. Right then, let's try sticking Lady down again. And hopefully she takes this time. Because I embossed the background on with a gloss, it doesn't stick, it's a bit of a pain. But if you scratch it and remove, yeah. She's a lot more sturdy now. Um, I've also done these little um, little bits like that. So I do like them, don't get me wrong. But they have to be on a certain card, I think, sometimes. Let's have a look. I'm not sure whether I like them on this card. Like I say, I like them in general, but whether they are for this card is another matter. Because I've got the black swirls as well, you see. No, I'm not going to use them today. Yeah, what I was going on about is to use like a pearl necklace. No, not a pearl necklace. Like a gem necklace. I won't glue it on yet, but this is what I meant. But it would have to be smaller stones, I think. To make it look better. So smaller stones like that make a necklace, but I've looked at other cameo bits of brooches and stuff and they haven't got any on there, so I might just leave that bit. But yeah, I think we're finished. I think that's enough. Just getting the glue strings off, fluff the flowers up. Yeah, that's just us done then. Right then, I hope you enjoyed making this nice card with me and i'll link everything below and i will see you in the next video bye everybody